In this series, I'm making VR shoes, shoes you wear while playing VR games that keep you in the same place as you walk around. Hey, I'm finally functional, but you can call me Alex. In the last video, I went over this, the start of the next support rig. This will be the end result of this video. I made more improvements to the swivel to make it stronger and better. I made a mount for the square tube that extends downward. The tube will extend down to the user and attach at the hips, like in my previous support rig. The coupling for the square tube is rigid and holds the tube in the exact position that I want and is easy to take on and off. So if you want to know more details about how all this works, continue watching. This swivel has an issue. As I turn it, the resistance varies. So right here, there's not very much resistance at all, but right here, there's more resistance. I think there might be two reasons for the varying resistance. One is I have these three bolts here and uh, they might be tightened a little bit differently. So different parts on here are tightened a little bit more or less and that could be a cause of it. Another reason I think this might be happening is because this surface here, it's not completely flat, it's uneven because I cut it. And I cut this surface too. So with these two surfaces being uneven, as this thing rotates, that might be causing the variable resistance. So to fix this uneven surface, I'm just going to go back to a pipe tee that I didn't cut because this surface and this surface, the top and bottom, are completely flat. I won't have to worry about it. I'm also gonna replace these three bolts with this one really big bolt. Here I'm putting a washer down, then a thrust bearing, then another washer. So I first tried to tighten the big nut down with a small wrench and I couldn't get very far. I didn't have a wrench big enough for this nut so I improvised and I tried to use a clamp and that sort of worked. But in the end I ended up going to the store and I got a bigger wrench that I could use to finish tightening the nut down. Here's the swivel and ceiling brace all set up again. It turns smoothly now and is more rigid. So I have a pipe coupled to the swivel and I next started working on the other end of the pipe. I needed a way to couple the rest of the rig to that pipe. My first idea was to use another pipe tee. So I 3D printed a part that goes inside of the tee and acts like a spacer. Then I'd insert a square rod into the tee and the spacer would just hold it snug. Then I put a bolt through and secure both pieces together. This idea had problems. First, it was hard to get the bolt through. I didn't want to make the holes too big to prevent the tube from moving around too much, but that meant that if any of the holes I drilled were just a little off, then it was hard to push the bolt through. In the end, I ended up having to use a hammer to hammer the bolt all the way through all four of the holes. Once I got the bolt through though, there was still a lot of play in this coupling. The square tube could move around quite a bit and it just wasn't very rigid. So I continued trying to get the pipe tee to work. I got a new one and drilled the holes out a little bigger this time so that it would be easy to get the bolt through. I also drilled two additional holes on the back of the tee. I 3D printed another piece 
This piece had a couple nuts that were inserted into it, and then the whole piece was inserted into the square tube. The idea here being that I could screw some bolts into the tube and the 3D printed piece would hold the nuts in place. So I put the square tube into the pipe tee, put the first bolt through, then I screwed the other two bolts into the tube. The two bolts gripped the nuts inside of the tube, allowing me to rigidly hold the tube in place. This idea had problems too. First, it was sometimes hard to get the nuts to catch. The nuts just wouldn't catch as I turned the bolts. They were probably being pushed back too far. Next was the square tube was not perfectly vertical. It was at an angle, so angling forward quite a bit. It was also angled to the left. I tried adjusting this. And every time I would screw the bolts back in, it was a little different. Sometimes it was off to the left, sometimes off to the right, sometimes it was turned a bit. I tried 3D printing some more spacers to get this to work, but it just ended up being different each time. So I stopped trying to use a pipe tee. After thinking about it some more, I looked into using a pipe flange instead. I screwed it onto the end of the pipe, but there was one problem already. It was too big. It would hit the ceiling brace as it rotated. So I decided I would simply cut the top half of the flange off, like so. That worked. I could now rotate it all the way around. So now I need to couple the square tube to this flange. To do so, first I cut this flat piece of metal and drilled three holes in it. I then screwed this flat to the flange. I got a long screw that was fully threaded and I put that through the middle hole. I put a nut on and tightened it as much as I could. I don't want the screw turning when I put a second nut on later. I did the same thing with the other hole in the pipe flange. I took that, screwed it onto the end of the pipe, and then putting the square tube on was really easy. All I had to do was drill a few holes in the tube that the two long screws could go through. Then I simply put two more nuts on and tightened those down. By the way, I know these two screws are too long for this, but they were all I had lying around. I'll get shorter ones later. I need a wrench to tighten it down. In the next video, I am going to try an idea I have for getting rid of the wrench, but for now I just put a magnet on the tube and then the wrench just sits right on the side of the tube, so it's pretty easy and quick to get the tube on and off. With this setup, the tube is held very rigidly and it's perfectly vertical, it's perfectly aligned, it's easy to take on and off. I'm really happy with this coupling. So the new swivel and coupling are both rigid and strong. They have even less play now than in the last video and it's still strong enough to hold my entire body weight. That's it for this video. In the next one, I'm going to be working on the stuff that slides along the square tube and allows for crouching. This will have a climbing harness coupled to it like with my last rig. I also need to make it so that the pipe and flange can't loosen. Thank you guys for watching. Like and sub if you want. See you guys next time.